Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how I make my creamy Cajun shrimp. So first we'll start off by seasoning the shrimp. Here I have about 20 black tiger shrimps that I'll be using. Of course you could use any type of shrimp that you like. We'll start off with a quarter teaspoon of salt quarter teaspoon of black pepper, quarter teaspoon of lemon pepper seasoning, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of paprika, and one teaspoon of seafood seasoning. And we'll just give the shrimp a good mix. And then you'll just set this aside for about 20 minutes to let it marinate. With my pan on high heat, I will start with two tablespoons of oil and add my shrimp once it's hot. And we'll just fry the shrimp on one side for about two minutes or until the shrimp starts to turn pink. And then we'll just flip it over and let the shrimps cook for another minute. And once the shrimps are done, we'll remove them from the pan and set them aside. Now we'll turn our pan down to medium heat and add in two tablespoons of butter and let that melt. And then we'll be adding in our garlic and just saute the garlic for about one minute. Next we'll add in our onions and sweet peppers and saute these for about two minutes. Once that's done, we'll add in a quarter cup of white wine and that will help to deglaze the pan and add a bit of flavor as well. And I'll also add in one chicken bouillon and I'll just stir it around until it dissolves. Now I'll add in the cream and just reduce the heat to low and then I'll start adding in the seasonings. So I have one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning and one teaspoon of paprika. And just stir this around a bit. I'll add in another tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. And I just wanted to darken the color a little bit more, so I added in one more teaspoon of paprika. At this point, you can taste your sauce and adjust any seasonings that you like, and you can also add a bit of salt. And now I'll add in some parsley. And I'll add my shrimp back into the pan and just let that simmer for about one minute. And there it is, creamy Cajun shrimp. Now, of course, this can be mixed with your favorite pasta or left alone as a side dish, or you can even use it as a steak topper. If you enjoy this recipe, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time on Mama's Easy Kitchen.